as you're creating your presentation, there are going to be some specific things you're going to want to do with the images. This is the first video for Photoshop that will teach you how to do some very specific things that will help you not only include images in your paper, in your research paper, but will also help you include them in your presentation. Uh, in the assets video, we worked with this one image from the Metropolitan Museum of Art, and I've downloaded it. Um, you'll notice that it's, um, it's a very large image, it's wonderful to work with, it's beautifully staged, and it has a very neutral background, which will help you as you're working with this image. Um, you can, will notice on the presentation for the website that the vase has been silhouetted here on the home page and I will teach you how to silhouette and remove the background in one of the videos and if you look at the research paper the video or sorry the image is here and it has been cropped um, in this research paper I chose to focus only on the image I did not want to include the full picture of the vase because that makes the image smaller so what we're going to do is begin with Photoshop. The first video will teach you how to size and crop this image so that you could put it in your research paper with just the cropped area here. So open the image in Photoshop. and you will have the image up in Photoshop. And <clears throat> before you begin, hopefully if you have not gone through the tutorials on Photoshop, you need to do that because you need to familiar, familiarize yourself with just the Photoshop basics. I'm not going to go through a lot of basics here. I'm just going to describe how to size and how to crop the image. Um, the links to these tutorial videos can be found in the comments section. Um, which is on the getting started video. So go back and, and take a look at those videos. Okay, so the basic tools for using this image to crop it, one thing you're going to want to be familiar with is under the image tab, you're going to want to be familiar with image size. Image size is going to help you, <laughs> let's move that, there you go. Image size is going to help you focus on um, how big the image is and you want to make sure that you're not cropping it and it's going to be too small. So if you remember, uh, I recommended that the images be above 250 pixels wide or high. And as you can see, we downloaded a very, very large image of the, um, of the vase. So whatever we do to it, we're not going to make it too small which is a good thing. So click OK and that's just an inspection. This fifth tool down is the crop tool and if you just leave your um, cursor over it it will provide an identification to let you know you're on the crop tool. And when you're on the crop tool you'll notice that if you click on the image you will have wonderful little handles at the top and bottom and the corners. And what we want to do is we want to crop this image so that it only shows maybe the top of the decoration in the band and we want to just get up underneath the bottom band and then bring it in from the left and the right. Once you have the, the area that defined that you would like to crop, all you need to do is just double click on that and it will crop it. And as you can see, you may want to play with a little bit here because you've got these little kind of white areas that look a little bit distracting. So click on it again. And to move, you can use your arrow keys to move up and down, which will help you a little bit with small increments. And then we can tighten it up that way. And that looks just a little bit better. to not have those little white dots showing. They were a little bit distracting and that's probably just me, but <clears throat> anyway, that's a, that's a pretty cropped image right there. So once you have cropped the image, what you wanna do is choose Save As. 
and then save it as, say, met Perseus, and then do an underscore crop. And that way you know that that's the cropped version. And you can click OK. It will save it as a JPEG. Now, one of the things when you're working with images in Photoshop, there is under the, the window, there is a history window that you might want to bring up. The history window will take you forward and backward through everything you've done. In the next video, I'm going to talk about um, silhouetting and working with layers and text. So um, we'll go through that then. But if you make a mistake when you crop the image, you can always go back. And you see how it goes through the different levels of cropping that we did. And it'll take you even back to the opening when you open the document. So that'll teach you how to size and crop right there. And the next video, we're going to work with layers and we're going to work with text.